getting some sun. This is one of my spots I've been returning to. It's like a full entry, a beautiful log. And the sun hits it in the morning. So I came here today to just start my day off beautifully. I haven't been to the park in a few days in the morning and I was really feeling like I need to do that because it's just so grounding. Wishing everyone a beautiful day. See you in the next one. It's Friday, but all day I've been thinking it's Saturday. And I've literally caught myself thinking it's Saturday three times today. So it's kind of funny, but I have some calls this week and then I have a client, um, a nutrition client, and I'm with a friend at a cafe. We're going to bike there, of course. And we're going to talk about potential kind of like business collapse um, and just catch up. But I'm super excited because I feel like this conversation might shape my gear a little bit or at least my next few months, which is exciting. So I will keep you posted. Um, otherwise, it's just stunning in Mexico today. We are April, good sky. Um, Feeling so happy and grateful to be here. I was gonna wear a different outfit that I was like posted on my Instagram, but I ended up with this vintage shirt. It was not a good angle. Vintage denim. Um, this is like a Reformation organic cotton tee. My vintage bag, and then my Adidas Special. A good casual Friday afternoon outfit. It's like 4 p.m. So I was supposed to be leaving Mexico City on Tuesday, but I have decided to leave next Friday. So I've extended my stay a little bit, and then I'm going to Toronto for five weeks. And I'm going to miss biking around so much. It's literally my favorite thing. I have been making this smoothie for the past couple of days, couple of weeks. Spinach, banana, turmeric root, hemp, chia, cinnamon. Mm, that may be all. It's so good. The texture is so good. I will. Oops. city on Friday. I'm honestly sad but ready. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of work and also watching a little bit of YouTube. I am in this sublet that I've been in since February, the end of February, and now we're April 10th. Um, in San Miguel Chapultepec, which is probably my favorite area of Mexico City to live in. Um, but then the girl who I'm subletting from, 
arrives back tomorrow. So I have, I'm moving to a new location just for three nights. Oh, it's eight, it's 8.48 p.m. I need to pack a bit. And then in the morning, I'll also pack. I'm going to a market, like a street market, like vegetable market with a couple of friends, um, maybe midday. And then I have to move to my new place. Um, my arm is just getting sore. I'm moving to my new place at like 2.30, I think. So I have a little bit of time, but I just haven't done so much packing. Um, so I'll do that and then close up my last few days here. I'm gonna film a bit more for sure. Okay, but back to what I'm gonna do in Mexico City before I leave. There's one market. They have like these markets all over the city that are like vegetables, fruit, nuts and seeds, so many different things. I, I filmed one before, San Juan Market. And so I wanna go back to this market this week um, just to get little things you can't get in Canada, like maybe black, well, black garlic you can get in Canada, but they have it here and it's really good. Um, and then also I want to get, I think, more like dried petals and dried flowers. Maybe that's all. Um, but I thought like that would be a fun activity to do this week. And then I also... I'm gonna do a dinner on my last night on Thursday with some girlfriends, I think. So we're deciding if we just go to Cafe Trucha, Poppy's, Re Poppy's Cafe, or if we go to um, a restaurant. So I'm excited for that. And then otherwise just kind of like working, enjoying biking around. Honestly, biking is my favorite. You can, it's just like so beautiful to enjoy the surroundings and the weather um, and listen to good music. So I'm gonna miss that. Um, but yeah, it'll be kind of like chill. Friday, I have a long travel day, and then I arrive back in Canada in the evening, and then I'm just so excited to go to sleep in Canada, in my bed there. I am in a new space for the next three nights before heading to Canada. I thought I'd run you through what I've picked up or brought or still am working through before I head home. So I bought eggs today. This is salsa matcha, which I've showed you before. I'm almost out. It's like the perfect timing because I leave. I just bought new kale. This is basil. These are seta. This is like um, shiitake mushrooms. And then a plantain. I cut it open already, so that's why I have it sealed up in the bag. And then this is a Nopal, Nopal tortillas in this little organic spot in Valle de Bravo. And then this is cut up jicama and then a lime and this like garlic lemon thing. I cut them up and I made like a guacamole, which I'll probably do again with another avocado. And then this is papaya that I brought from my old place. And then we have figs. And then these delicious mangoes from the market I was at today. The figs I got there too. A lot, most of the stuff I got either at the market or at Supercoop or Broad. And then I have just been buying this um, organic coconut milk, which is delicious. And then the things that I'm still working through, which are kind of random, is just like my matcha, cacao nibs. Chia seeds, so I got a little protein powder pack that I'm gonna mix with that and water. I always travel with these. I have four left after three months because I don't typically use them unless it's like travel day or I don't wanna buy a huge bag of coffee. But recently I haven't even been having coffee first thing, just matcha. These are my favorite crackers. So I actually am probably gonna bring them on the plane. I ate a couple, but I wanted these and like boiled eggs and um, I don't know what else I'll bring on the plane. I usually don't eat um, when I travel, but I actually have a layover this time, so I'll probably eat on the layover, and that's all. I have a few nori sheets, 
um, bee pollen still, beekeeping nurse naturals, propolis spray. This is green tea. This is mint tea, loose leaf, of course. And then I have two of these loose leaf bags, a tiny bit of black garlic, spirulina crunchies, and this is cacao. I'm finishing. I forgot about salt, so I had to go buy salt just now. And then I'm brewing a mint tea. I bought a lemon for lemon water. I have a tomato, an avo, a bit of ginger for tea, and some limes. And then I just cooked this sweet potato and it'll go in the fridge. It'll pick up the next couple of days. So that's my little kitchen update at the new place. In my new Airbnb, but we, the only full my length mirror is in the bathroom. So I'm wearing these and then Birkenstocks. I'm going to work at this place called Buna, or coffee shop called Buna in this um, beautiful outdoor space called La, La Laguna. My hair is very dirty. I'm going to clip it up. I'm back. Put my hair up. It's honestly not even that dirty, but because my hair is so fine, I have to, I usually wash it like every day or every other day. No, not every day. Every two days or every three days. Um, but it was just looking a little funny today. It also is getting pretty brown slash strawberry blonde. So I'm thinking I might dye blonde again in May. There is my look. We're going, I'm going to work at this cafe.
would be 7 p.m. Mexico City, but because of the time difference, I'm probably going to be exhausted. Um, but that's a life when you're traveling. I always get so stressed about how heavy my bags are. Um, but everything like fit compact and like I just have my purse and then I have a little carry-on suitcase and there's a tiny bit of room and then my big suitcase is like very full. Um, so I hope they let it through. charger so I could probably do that or like in the airport I'd be able to find a like plug in the wall. This will be the end of my Mexico vlogs um, and then I will start filming mix from Toronto and then Amsterdam or Paris on this way but um, I'm signing off. Thank you everyone so much for watching over the past three months of life in Mexico. Um, I want to see these vlogs have been so fun to do. I'm excited to continue making more in new places. Um, and then more when I'm back in Mexico because I'm like, I get why people enjoy watching it. The city is so beautiful. There's so much to see and do. And it's just been such a fun way to document life here. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in Toronto.